Hi everybody, this is Pam with Jesus Junk Journals and I'm going to play with some stuff that I haven't used before. It's called Modeling Paste. And I'm going to try to add some texture. And so I've got these stencils. I think I'll use one that I haven't used before and see what happens with that. These are just off of Amazon. You can get a bunch of them for not very much money. So I'm gonna take this palette knife and just kind of apply a little bit of this paste. And then lift it up and let it dry. All right, well that wasn't too difficult. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I have eight, I actually have nine, but one of them's not done yet. And make sure I don't have this stuff, I don't wanna get it on there. These uh, Encourage journals, I have eight of them finished. And so what I'm doing is I'm going back through and I think on the next video, I'm gonna talk about a list that I have of things you can do that I, I wanna run over when I do a journal. Because you can always, after you're done, you can go back and add enhancements that you haven't thought of before. So I'm going to add some texture to these. And I'm trying to figure out, I think I need a bunch of clamps. So I'm gonna go grab a bunch of clamps and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go, I'm back, I got my clamp. And I'm gonna look for a place to add texture. So, the plane so that one might be maybe that one would be a good place so I'm just going to clamp this open so that after I do it it can dry I'm gonna put it at the top so that when there's a card in here, you'll still be able to see it. All right, so I looked for a page where either like this one, the pockets at the top. So whenever you open this journal, it'll show down here. The other ones, if they had a pocket down here, I tried to find a place at the top where you could do it. So I have a bunch of different stencils. So let's see. Doesn't take a lot. This jar ought to last me the rest of my life. <laughs> okay. All right. Now what I also, I bet these need to be cleaned off pretty quickly because this stuff, it's acrylic, so it's water soluble, but I would not want this stuff to dry on my stencils, that's for sure. It's kind of a mess, I'm noticing that. I already got it on my apron and <laughs> it's like, this is what happens when I paint. I just painted a room in my house and my husband said, oh, I'm proud of you. After I was about halfway through it, he goes, you only have paint on part of the handle. <laughs> I, I started out with, intending to just use the end of the paintbrush, but it never seems to work out that way. And from my understanding of this, you can also uh, mix color with it because it's really basically just like acrylic paint. So if I wanted to make it blue or anything else, I can do that. Just add some acrylic paint color to it, paint to it. I just want a touch of it, just a little bit of detail. And I'm kind of looking at like, this is organic. So I kind of want something sort of organic. Looks like a flower. 
And actually, that's pretty. I wouldn't mind having quite a bit of that. So let me see if I can pull that off. All right, not too bad. Ew, this is a mess. I know you guys are probably anxious. I am also anxious to start on the Salvation Mini Journals. But I just know from past experience, if I don't finish these little Encourage Journals now, I will never come back to them. And I want to get them fi finished since I printed nine of them. And so I have one left that I haven't bound, and then I'll be done with it. But I'm going back through these and adding special little finishing touches and little pieces of ephemera and things like that that I didn't do in the initial making of the journal. So when I get them all done, I will show them to you quickly. Try not to take a long time. I was reading a, some feedback from people who watch uh, how-to tutorials and they were saying we don't want you wasting a bunch of time <laughs> don't take five minutes to turn a page and do this and that so I try I try to fast forward through a lot of things and I'm hoping that that's okay and that it doesn't bother anybody or that nobody's missing anything apparently I mean I haven't heard any complaints so <laughs> if I am going too fast please tell me in the comments if I'm going too slow, make that comment. And I know I can't please everybody, but I would like to know what you guys think. So if you're having to fast forward through a bunch of stuff like me cleaning my hands, let me know. Okay, now I know this is organic, but I feel like I need to do something different. Sort of the opposite of organic on this one. I'm just going to put a little bit. And I can't really tell you why I thought that. Why why organic with one to match and why going against the grain and doing something geometric. Um, it's just personal taste. There's not any rule to it. Whatever you think looks good. Lots of times I think I know what looks good or will look good and then it doesn't. And sometimes I have happy accidents. <laughs> Lots of times I have happy accidents or things that just accidentally happened or one thing led to another is more like how it goes. It's never planned out from the beginning and I'm sure that's probably true for everybody. One thing about doing these mini journals, it's nice to have nine, well eight, journals to do this like one technique on all of them at one time on the big journals I would usually just do one journal at a time and sometimes it seems like oh kind of a waste of time to get all the stuff out and do each thing but what I'm going to do is go back over the journals I have and apply some of this to each one because I didn't do it before. So now I can go back to my heaven journal and my, of course, if you've given them away, you can't do that. But if you still have your journals, or at least if you wait till you have two or three of them, then it makes it more worthwhile to get this stuff out and work it. This journal, um, my eco print paper, where I took the flowers last spring and made uh, watercolor paper prints. There's videos out there on that. Um, this one, somehow or other, I thought I was coming up short a page. So I thought, well, okay, I'm going to tear a piece out of the eco print. So I did. And then when I recounted my pages, I wasn't missing any. <laughs> so that was kind of. Okay, not as thrilled with that. Yeah, I wonder if I can cut those off. No, probably not. Okay, better leave it alone. Let it dry. Lesson learned. <laughs> Be a little more careful. Okay, two more. 
And again, this is kind of an elaborate color. I mean, you've got several colors, you've got kind of an elaborate pattern, so it needs to be something simple, I think. Maybe maybe just this diamond one that I just did. I think I'll, I'll just use the bigger diamonds maybe and see how that looks. All right. So this has got a big medallion shape on it. I think I'll try this. These cut out florals. See how that looks on it. Hmm. It's all right. Nothing to write home about, but that's okay. This is this is sort of like just an elaborate version of putting gesso on your pages. Kind of serves the same purpose. Now you can go back and paint this and spray it with mica sprays and things to add dimension that way. Okay, so I've come back over. This is the very last of the encouraged journals that I have to finish up. But I wanted to finish this video with a checklist that I've written down, and I'm sure I haven't gotten everything on it, but I thought you guys, if you don't use a checklist, you might wanna try it. So these are the elements to consider. So what? when I finish a journal, sometimes I forget all the things I could do because there's so many possibilities, and so I was writing them down. And so, uh, one element that you might want to think about is something transparent, so like a glassine envelope or one of the flower slide uh, pieces that I do in my kits where you put a piece of uh, acetate and a dried flower in the middle of it. Or a die cut edge, you know, where you use your, your punches and your die cut, uh, you know, like here's one. And maybe you want to add something like that to it. Washi tape. Sometimes I forget about my washi tape. Charms. So I went back on these, um, all these, and punched a just punched a little hole. And I use one of these bulb pins. And if you don't if you don't have these, you can order them online. And they're just called bulb pins, and they're like a safety pin at the top. And you can put beads and little uh, charms on there and sewing of course i'm sewing the covers on these but just as, as a checklist um fabric if you haven't used any fabric in it pockets within the pockets uh just something to think about i wrote that down just to make myself think about it paper clip embellished and oh do i have i don't have one handy i won't do that but um bulldog clip so this is what I'm calling Bulldog Clip. Uh, use that maybe to put in a card. A brad or a circle enclosure. Um, and that's with the string where you um, put a brad in the middle of a circle of cardboard and wrap the string around it. Oh, let me grab one real quick. Here's a paper clip embellishment, where you, an embellished paper clip where you, this whole thing is attached to a paper clip and then you clip it to the top. Uh, I just saw something else. I, I need to put the ribbon. This is the ribbon uh, sliders that I make that are out in Etsy that you can print out and slide a ribbon onto. Um, well, I used, okay. <laughs> so while I have this out here, here's a grommet, which is on the list. Here's an envelope, which is on the list. Here, oh, here, okay, so here's a, a glassine envelope that is out of homemade glassine, and then here's one of the flower slides. So there's, for the transparent, there's an example of that. Oh, here's the string closure, yeah, on my prayer folio, which this is in my in my Etsy shop um, by itself. So this circle closure here is something that I like a lot, so I put that on there. Fold from the top, um, because sometimes I, think about the side or the bottom, but I don't always have things that fall down from the top. Beads, die cut tags, 
um, envelopes, which I just showed you, string, jelly plate, which I've got a couple of videos on that. Eco printing, I have a couple of videos on that. Dried flower slides, I just showed you one. A belly band of some sort, so just a strip of something up the center or across this way to hold things on. Grommets, which I just showed you. Metal corners, so these, you can get these online or at the craft store and you just crimp them on with a pair of pliers and some uh, E6000 glue. And mini journal within a journal. So you might want to think about that as just some a piece of ephemera that you could add on. Stickers, which oh, I don't have any on that one, but I, I've, I've shown you in the last few videos that I went to the Dollar Tree store and found some really cute, really nice stickers. If you do the stickers, be sure you add glue to them though, because I don't trust them to stay on over a long period of time. Buttons, uh, flea market finds, and again, this is just a mental checklist. So when I've got a journal and I'm like, what can I do to this? You know, well, did I add any flea market stuff to it? You know, these little mini journals, I really didn't. But I, I'm sure I have things that I could just tuck in that would make them more interesting. Decoupage, distress ink, which I don't know how we would get away with doing anything without distress ink, but I put it on there. Stencils, hand lettering, spatter paint. I like the look of spatter paint where you just take like a toothbrush or a stiff bristle brush and you put paint on it and you flick it and it just puts spattered paint. Uh, stamp words. So use your letters and stamp the words like I did with the cover of this right here. And pearl drops, which is just another product. It, you drop it on and it dries around like a pearl. Silver and gold rub and buff, if you want a metallic touch that you want to add. Crackle, which is just a, a acrylic a medium that you add to things. Modeling paste, which I just showed you. I just added ribbon slider, and I know there's a whole lot th more things, but I just, uh, I want to keep this list handy so that when I'm done with journals, I could even go back on these ones that I've finished and add some things like um, tabs on the edges of the pages. I like those, all different kinds. Fabric that's sewn on the edges. You know, like this one I did, the velvet tab. And then I have the little circles that I'm gonna glue on for those kind of tabs. And then some of my kits have tabs with them that you can use. So anyway, I'm, I'm done for this video. I won't go on and on. Um, but I hope you liked the video. I hope it helped you. And um, if you liked it, click like, hit the subscribe button. I think I'm about 10 people away from hitting 300. And as soon as I hit 300, I'm going to have a drawing from the members and I'm going to uh, send you something great. So goodbye. See you next time.